Hello, I'm Chase Niazani from Lightning Code, and today we'll be doing something a little different, and it's called Blender. So Blender is basically for Unity. If you don't know what Unity is, please check out my other videos from Lightning Code. And so we'll jump into this in a moment. So Blender is, so this looks a little bit intimidating at first, I know, but um, also it looks just like Unity. So um, we're going to be creating an asset for Unity today. And I have a feeling that I really like doing some different stuff. So I'm not really sure what I'm going to do today. So let's see. Um, oh, I got the idea. So I'm going to try to make a somewhat type of marble roller coaster. If you can't see right there, I have one sort of like it. And so, you know, like marbles rolling down um, tubes. I think that's going to be my idea. So let, first, let's actually make the marble, which will just be a ball. Let's start off. So um, to show you Unity, um, you uh, so this, you, Obviously, you'll always start off with the cube. If you don't want it, just right click and just click delete. And then, okay, so then you click add. You can click mesh, curve, surface. There's a lot like meta ball, but um, since I'm already here, I'm just gonna add meta ball, ball. Okay, so now we have a ball right here. This will be our marble. I guess so we can call it that. And now let's also add our next stuff. So kind of like a marble roller coaster. I still don't know what it's called. So let's go. Um, I kind of want maybe somewhat like a plane. So since we can really manipulate objects, I'm just going to add a cube. Oh, wow. That looks really weird three-dimensional block, but, okay. No, I might actually use that, but we'll use it later. Um, now, okay, so the, this is our toolbar. Um, we have a measuring unit, annotate. I'm pretty sure that's a draw. So you can like transform in size there, um, rotate stuff, move stuff. Also, this is just a cursor. And okay, so there. Now let's transform this. Ooh, I don't know. How that, that looks like that looks good enough. So we're gonna start off simple since I'm just gonna show you how it's done. So um, I'm gonna do like a classic one. So also let's just make this smaller in size. Um, if you don't want to manipulate it like this, just press CTRLD if you did something wrong. And just do this and drag it in to make it smaller. See? Okay. So. Oh, come on. I'm not that good at this, looks like. There. Hey, that's sufficient. Um, now. I'll get to this. So I'm just going to make it like, you know, those zigzag ones. That's kind of how this one will be. Okay, and just rotate. Oops, rotated it the wrong direction. So yeah, if you hit this trackball thing in the middle, it'll do that. And so make sure that you're always on the outline. It's kind of tricky at first. Okay, I think the that's enough length um, for this one. And I'll move this like this and like that. That seems sufficient. So, um, if you don't know what I'll be doing after this, what I'll be doing is um, I'll put this in Unity and we'll test how how this works. So then let's, 
I might actually. Actually, since this is just a blender thing, I will, I'll leave that for the next video. Okay, so now let's get this. Okay, so looks like this is slightly a bit too big for my liking. Yeah, that, that's actually nice. And then we're gonna be adding some, I'm gonna be adding another cube this time. Ooh, that is big. Looks like we'll be doing something extra small. And this is this time it'll be kind of like the wall part, if you know what I mean. And so, okay. Oh, come on. Again. Okay, so yeah, make sure that you should be really careful when you do that. You don't. So I think um, it's a good idea to use CTRLZ. You might need to use it often, just like me. And okay, so I might want to make this thing a little bit bigger. Oops, maybe that's a little bit too big. So let's go. Yeah. That. Okay, yeah, that looks fine. And I'm just gonna select these. Nope. So when you wanna select stuff, um you need you need to kind of do something like this. Really confusing, but I hope it'll get it'll it'll hope hopefully you'll get used to it. I think I can get used to it, maybe. And let's kind of add on to this. And okay, so okay. Uh, let's just duplicate this. Duplicate objects, and yeah, you can put you can put it anywhere you want. So I'm gonna put this. Hmm. Right here and i'm gonna move this up like this and there so now it moves down there okay that seems good and then let's make this a little bit more confusing so i'm going to duplicate this again make sure that you select it and then duplicate it this time I want this here. And let's move this like that. Okay, that looks quite good. And it'll barely, so this will be a tricky one. Um, I'm pretty, I'm not so sure if I like that, but let's go. And, mm hmm okay. I'm not sure what we can do next. I'll try a cylinder. Okay, now let's get here. Okay. Oh, this looks kind of like a tumbleweed. Oh, yeah, you can make tumbleweeds in Blender. So let's do this. Hmm. I kind of want to make it that size. Let's see where this is actually going to go. Hmm. You know what? That seems fine. Just going to block it like a blocker. And then it will make it go soon. Actually, yeah, right here, I'll duplicate this. And I'll make this go right here. And this is a, this is gonna be a staircase of some sort. Okay. And I'll probably duplicate this again. And there. So most of it's just duplicating. It's quite easy. And um okay. I will probably now stop and okay, I'm just going to duplicate this. So once you get one, it's good to duplicate so you don't waste too much time. Um, 
And I'm gonna put here. Um, that seems right. Now, just barely there. So then you can keep on going. And, okay, so let's make an ending point. Also, we're going to be duplicating an object again. And then, okay. Right here. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Okay, I do not want to do that. I just wanted to make it like this. Hope you guys can see it. So yeah, your main source of navigation is this or this or your scroll bar, so, okay. Um, that looks fine to me. So then I'm gonna add the cylinder, actually, let's just be real right now and duplicate it. So you can do crazy stuff with even a cylinder and blender, so I'm gonna make this a pole. That looks small enough, and now I'm going to make it large enough like that. And I'm going to add a sort of thing, so this will be like a cone. cone. And then let's go. Mm -hmm, rotate it. It looks giant, but this is supposed to be a flag. Um, if you can't see all of this stuff over here, yeah, you can mess around with it. But when we join it, we don't want this light. So just delete it. And the camera, kind of, uh, because it'll add a new camera in our, uh, in our Unity project if we add this. So I don't want to do that. This needs to go so much smaller, like this. And if you don't know me that well, the reason I like everything small is because it's just bite-sized. Love it. Um, I guess that makes more sense. Um, let's put this down, this, there. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to try to add the flag. You need to make it really thin on this part. I'm going to have to zoom in. Okay. I'm going to try to make it. I'm going to move it here. And okay, so let's try to move this again. I hope that it can get thin enough this time. Yes, this is perfect. Okay, now we need to make this flag look realistic and not like a triangle. Mm -hmm. That looks kind of like it. Make it slightly bigger. This is going to be a tumbleweed thing. Okay. Mm. So, okay, we're almost done. Okay, I don't know where to rotate this guy. Look proper, maybe that. And we don't want it to look that weird, so just gonna move it a little bit forward. This cone. Um, yeah, that looks 
looks decent to me. So I'm gonna make this there and that. Okay, that looks quite good. And I think we're done here. So this is the first, this is our first blender project. Um, now let's save this. I really like this. I don't know what to call this. I'm just gonna call it Marble Road. Save it as Marble Roller Coaster. Face. I completely forgot. Yeah, that looks that looks good. Marble roller coaster dot blend. So now that we're finished with our marble roller coaster, um, I might just put this in Unity and see how it works. So I'm just gonna pause this, and I'll see you when I get back to Unity. Just in case you want to see what I'm doing, I'll just show you. So I'm just creating a new project. I'll call this Marble. Marble. Marble Roller Coaster. Stir. Create, and I'll see you when it's done. Oops, sorry, I forgot to tell you. Um, in order to export this to Unity, you need to click Export. And uh, for Unity, we'll need FPX. Export FPX. Okay. Now, I'll see you when Unity loads up. Okay, so now that I'm in Unity, I think file project. Okay, that's not where we need to go. I'll just try dragging this in. Okay, there. I'm pretty sure it came in. Oh, yes, I remember Roller Coaster is in the game. Okay. Oh, nice. And now I'm just going to edit it to see if it works. Okay, I'm just going to do a little bit of um, editing. And um, if in case you want to know what I'm doing uh, and how I'm doing it, then you can go to our other video and I'll show you if this works. Okay, so it looks like it's time for the big test. Um, I'm just going to move our little camera right here. I've made all the edits needed. And I'll pause it again so that, until I get the camera in place. Okay, so now I just did some of my own little edits and made this look slightly more colorful. And okay. Let's see if this works. Okay. There. Okay, so um, this didn't work that well. I'm gonna try something else and see you back. Okay, you might not know what I did, but I'm pretty sure it'll work now. Okay, the final chance. Okay. Okay, let's try that again. And this will be the real final. Okay, so now third time's the charm. I've done a little bit more crafty stuff and I add a, added a blocker. So I have a feeling this will work. Let's try it. The final chance. I won't try anymore after this. Okay, okay. Oh, 
Yes. Okay, so that is how you make um a roller uh, a marble roller coaster. Um see you next time. Well, I guess it technically counts. It stayed there for five seconds. So bye. Bye. See you next time.